hey, how are you guys doing? Caught me looking around. I was uh, looking for something to do. You know what I want to do? I want to show you how the RBDMX uh, one program works on record box because um, I had it around here somewhere. Where did I do with it? Oh, it's on my controller back here. On my, uh, it's on my uh, DDJ one thousand. I bought it a couple years ago, so don't get mad at me because I have one. Um, yeah, you got to see my video. I, I went to every store in town and I found the very last one. And I live in a large city. I mean, I live in Phoenix. It's like the fifth largest city in the United States. And there was none. So I know I, I, I feel for you guys. I really do. If you're trying to buy a DDJ controller, a Pioneer, uh, yeah, I know the struggles. Believe me. Um but we're talking about this, the RB DMX one. It's a a record box controller for your lighting program. And all you do is you take it and you take this beautiful box and you plug it into your laptop. There it goes. And it turns blue. That lets you know it's working. Out here is a is a is a DMX out. And on that DMX out what happens is you plug your cable or if you're like me you go out and you get a donner transmitter receiver system and you put the transmitter into that and then you put your receiver on your lights and you're golden <laughs> i mean you could set a light over there 100 feet you could set a light over there 100 feet and then maybe put some dmx cables into some lights that keep coming in and that way you don't have to stretch dmx lights a thousand feet in each direction so i'm just that's one of my goals but my other goal here is to show you how to once you plug this in how do you get record box to read it or your lights to understand it give me one moment and we'll be right back here we go we're going to pull up record box there it is that's record box right see i have a little blue light right here that little blue light tell me that this is active these are my lights down here if you turn these off all except for that very last one then nothing works blackout off makes everything work i may get high contrast club to atmosphere uh, i can turn them on red everything will be red or i can turn it off how do i get this little light you go to settings you go to the lighting, you enable it. If you disable it, it all goes away. So make sure you enable that. And your record box light will show, your RBDMX record box will show up. This is only for record box. Sorry, Serato guys, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. I think you got uh, something else from uh, ADJ. They have something. Um, but yeah, so now I got it. And if you look down here, there's... Uh, the lighting program the wave file for the lighting is down below the song so um if we take let's find something with a high bpm let's go um we don't want to go there we don't want to do that i got some programs i really need to uh put in here oh here we go so we got that song. It's 126 BPM. Hopefully the lights will work a little bit better. But how do I get those lights in there? Well, you go to lighting. Now that you've enabled the lighting program, this is how it works. I have a light. Oh, wow. How did I get to there? Because this isn't going to work. Why isn't it going to work? Because see the address up here, number one. The address on here needs to be number one. Or it won't work. It just doesn't work. How do I get this up there? I just drag it and drop it. If I go to 200, um, wherever your cursor is, that's where it's going to drop it. That's all you got to do. If you make a mistake and you say, oh, shoot, I didn't want it there. You just exit out. Yes. Okay. Move. How do I get this light? Well, there is a list right here, and it 
is a large library from Recordbox. They have done an extensive search of all lights possible, I believe. So I put in U King over here in my search in right right here in the search section. So that's the U King search, and then I go scroll down my list, and I can find ZQ B two six two Y K. And I'm going to show you on a side here where that model number is. That model number is right here. So um, that's the model number. That's the address. If I plug this light into my RBDMX1, it's going to light up the minute I turn on music. So let's, let's find out how well this works, okay? Um, give me one minute. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, we're back. And I got my light hooked up. See it? I got it on address D001. I've got a cord hooked to it. I got a DMX cord. Here's the other end. Take this end, plug it in to that, like that. The light's on. So now what? Well, we got a light, but it's got it's not doing nothing. It's it's plugged in my laptop, but it's not doing nothing. I gotta, I gotta make some music. Let's make some music. What do you say? So we grab a song, we throw it into record box, and we start playing. That simple. What do you think? <laughs> I like it. I do. I do. I like it. So, oh, let's hit blackout. Blackout. I'm shining your eyes. It's not going to work. It's in blackout. It's like that little pedestal you have on Chave lights or other gig bar lights where if you hit blackout, it's not going to work. So, nothing. Until. I like it. I do. I do. I like it. I, I turned the volume down so I don't have to see it. But yeah, that's it. Let me let me turn this off. I can just hit blackout and it'll go away. So that's how simple that works. This little box plugged into your laptop, plugged into your light. Play the music. It's that simple. And then they follow the lighting program as per record box. Somebody with a, a better mind than mine figured that stuff out. So I like it. I do. Um, apparently they know things too. But of course I forgot my shirt, right? <laughs> I make music and I know things. And these are the things I know and I enjoy sharing with you. So be well, be safe and happy mixing.